Hey guys, my name is Nima and in this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you four tips that you need to consider before hitting that record button on your camera and start making your first reload. So, let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to my brand new tutorial series here on my YouTube channel. Next to weekly vlogs, we are also starting weekly tutorials on how to get started making videos for your own YouTube channel from scratch. Everyone can grab their smartphones and start making videos. But what differentiates an awesome vlog from a normal one? Tip number one is really basic and easy but it's tedious and that's why most of the YouTubers just avoid doing it. It's called planning. You need to actually sit down, grab a pen and paper and write down how you want to tell your story throughout your video. When I'm making my vlogs, I make sure that the structure of my whole video consists of three main parts called the beginning, the middle part and the ending. Starting with the beginning, you need to make sure that you actually hook your audience up with your video within the first couple of seconds of playing it and grab their attention. You don't need to plan this footage like ahead of recording it, but uh, I usually pick that up after I'm done recording all of my videos for that vlog that I'm making and then I pick up about 5 to 10 seconds of my best shots. This footage needs to actually trigger your audience's curiosity so they are gonna be encouraged to continue watching your video. After they are hooked up with your video, you're gonna continue with the beginning part. You're gonna start by telling what this video is about or what's going to happen, what should they be expecting. In my case, I usually start here at my room, I talk about what's going on, what my plans are for the day ahead, why I'm making this vlog and what they should be expecting to see. Then you have the middle part, which is the actual meat of the video. It's the main part and the longest part throughout your video. The main story happened in this section and all the fun parts are here. And after you're done with that, you have the ending section. You don't want to come up with a great video idea, start making it, start with a really good beginning and elevate your video throughout the middle part and then just finish it while your audience are expecting to see more. Sometimes this part gets tricky, but I'm gonna give you an example on how I implement this in my own vlog. If you take a look at my first vlog, which is about the Wynwood neighborhood here in Miami, I start the video with the hook, which is a couple of seconds from Wynwood walls, and then I continue with the beginning part, starting here in my room, talking about what my plan is and what this vlog is about, and then the middle part is me actually showing you the neighborhood and the beauty of there and what's there to discover. And for the ending part, I'm actually taking you back with the train into my home where I started the story. So we don't lead with an open circle. You want to close your story and you want to have a complete ending. So before you start recording, make sure that you have an idea of how you want to start your video and how you want to elevate it through the middle section of your video and how you want to end it so your viewers will convert to subscribers. Because the last thing that you want is you're done recording, you head back home, the event is done and it just happens once in a year or it's a one-time thing and you forgot capturing one of the main parts of the event because you haven't had a plan. Tip number two are the B-rolls. Let's say you have a great idea and you know what you want to put on your video. But if all these footages, especially when you're changing locations, are not perfectly tied together, you won't have a good video. That's why we have B-roll. B-rolls are short footages that we put between the main sequences that we have throughout our video in order to make it flow and change our topics or change our locations or change times from day to night or from this city to another city or from my home to the location without cutting it all of a sudden. B-rolls could be time elapses from the clouds in the sky of the traffic 
It could be just you holding a selfie stick, pointing the camera into your face and doing your stuff. The main thing about the B-rolls are mostly you are not going to talk over it and you are helping your audience to get ready for the change in the flow of the video. I'll give you an example, if you take a look at my vlog about SpaceX rocket launch, I start here at my place talking about the launch happening tomorrow and then I'm moving out from my home to meet up with my friend and putting all of these footages from putting the camera in the box getting on the train and going through the stairs as b-roll if you have a drone you can easily have some drone shots and then just put them as b-rolls between your sequences tip number three tip number three is about the gear that you use for capturing your videos believe it or not one of the most handy and high quality cameras for capturing vlogs especially if your budget is tight is your smartphones the video quality that you can get out of these smartphones are unbelievably good as I recorded about 90% of my previous vlog on the Monster Jam event here in Miami just using my iPhone XR camera. The only thing that you might need is a tripod mini stick so you can put your camera on and point it towards your face and easily talk to it while you're walking. Tip number 4. You need to tailor the way that you make your videos based on your personality. Never try to copy paste the way that a successful YouTuber is doing his or her video. But in order to become successful, you need to find your own way of making the videos. Because if you are not yourself in front of the camera, the audience is not going to feel that connection. And then they just stop watching your video. Okay guys, these were my 4 tips to consider before hitting that record button on your camera and start making your first vlog. In the upcoming videos starting this week, we will get into the steps towards how to start with editing your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll go through all the basic steps from zero to exporting and publishing your video online. If you are passionate about starting your YouTube channel but you don't know how to do it, this is the right place for you, so make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified when we upload our next tutorial video. And yes, we will still have our weekly vlogs, so stick around. Thanks for watching.